Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit more different. I wanted to explore what makes us appear human. So today I'm going to experiment with different makeup looks that bridge the human with the non-human. So I'm going to begin by replicating the non-human, or in this case features of the alien and the human cyborg, in order to show how technology can accentuate features of appearance to challenge ideas of human existence. And then after that, I'm going to do a kind of a human cyborg makeover of ritual practices and makeup we normally do. And then after that, we're just going to kind of see what I make of all of it. So I've already put on concealer and powder. The palettes I'll be using for this video are the electric palette right here and the Shani palette. So beginning with the eyes, I'm going to go in with a white powder from this palette and then put it all over my lids. After this step, I'm going to go in with this palette and I'm going to use this green color right here. Take some of the product and whenever I use this palette, I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray. I'm going to go in to the crease and just wing it out and bring it down. I'm going to take some more of the green and I'm going to put it all along the bottom right here. So for the other eye, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but instead of using this green, I'm going to go in with this bright blue right here. Coming back to this eye, I'm going to go in with this neon yellow color. With the brush, when I'm changing colors, I just use a makeup wipe to wipe off like the excess color, and then I go in with the new color. I'm going to focus this on the inner corner and the outer corner. Now, moving to this eye, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use this purple color right here. So now I will be going into the same palette, and I'm going to take this bright orange color. I'm going to put this orange color on the center of this eyelid right here and blend it out. And I'm 
also going to put that orange color right along here. So once that is done, I'm going to do that to the same eye, but instead of that orange color, I will be taking this blue color right here. And just because I want this green color to pop a little bit more, I'm going to add um, some more of that green shadow just to the outside right along here. So now using the other end of the brush, the smaller end, I'm going to go in with this silver shadow and I'm going to apply this on the inner corner of this eye right here. And then I'm going to use the other end of that brush and take that silver powder and put it right along here on the brow bone. I'm going to do the same exact thing to this eye, but I'm going to use Champagne Pop. I'm going to take my blending brush and blend out the shadows a little bit more. And now I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to begin by hollowing out this area and this area of my face just a little bit as well as this area and this area. I'm going to be using a gray color so I will probably mix this color, this color, and this color together and mix them onto my bronzing brush. So for this next step, we are going to highlight these areas right here, right here, tip of the nose, the forehead, and the chin right here. And I'm going to highlight that using the same silver color I used on this eye. But in order to make that color pop a little bit more, I'm going to be applying a white and gray shadow first and then over top of that the silver. So I'm just going to take my blending brush and go in with this bright white color here and this gray color right here. I'm going to mix those two together and highlight the face. Obviously, it isn't ideal to be putting eyeshadow on your face, but for an exploratory project like this, it's necessary.
blend this out I'm going to use the same brush and just kind of swipe outward For this next step, I'm going to take some gel eyeliner and I'm going to be using this brush and I'm going to start drawing the human cyborg lines. I'm going to start with the forehead, so I'm going to draw down right here and then draw a line right here and then a line right here to the center of the eye. Okay, so continuing with this side, I am going to go down from here, down here, and then I'm going to create a line down this way, and then down to the chin right here. For this side, we're going to do the same exact thing and a line right here for the chin. Now for this side, I'm going to draw a line right here to the end of the mouth and then I'm going to go from this corner right here to the center of the nose and then down to right here. And then I'm going to put two dots right here and here, 
to complete the cyborg look. So this completes the non-human look I was going for. I will say without the eyebrows, it would have looked a lot more non-human, but I wasn't about to glue my eyebrows or get rid of them. But now we're going to be doing the cyborg makeover. So I'm going to apply eyeliner, fill in the eyebrows, lipstick, and eyelashes. For filling in my eyebrows, I will be using the Revolutionary Highbrow Gel as well as the um, Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil. I know the eyebrows are incredibly bold, but I'm okay with that. I know no one actually does their eyebrows like this. I never do my eyebrows like this. I will be applying some red lipstick using this lip brush. And I'm gonna kind of overline the lips a little. And for the final step of the cyborg makeover, we're going to apply false lashes. I am just using the rose quartz eyelashes from Sephora.
So this is the completed look of the Human Cyborg Makeover. It's clear that makeup truly changes us in a way where it removes us from our humanity, but it also makes us feel more human. This makes me wonder, what will being human look like in the future? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.